Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for framework tutorial. This is our part number 27. Inside this video session, guys, we will see about file upload in application. In the last videos, we had discussed all about how to upload form data. In that form, we had taken some input fields. But this time, we are going to create a HTML form. Inside that form, we will have a file upload button. Inside that file upload, we will upload some images inside this application. Now, if I back to editor, this is our site controller. So, what I will do, first we need to create a method. Let's say public function file upload and inside this method we are going to call a view file so let's return view and inside this let's say file upload this is our view file what i will do simply copy the name and go inside this views folder keep in mind we are creating this file at the root so here inside this views create a file with the name of file upload.php now inside this file we need to create our form so let's say form here we will have a paragraph tag inside this we need to create a label so let's say file or simply let's say file upload here I will take our input type file Next, we need to add a name attribute. So, what I will take simply let's say this is also a file. If I copy, pasting it here, and this time it should be a button. So, button type equal to submit, and here the label of the button is also submit. Press Ctrl B. Now, inside this form tag, we need to pass our attributes like name, action, method, and ink type. So let's attach action. We are, we are using shorthand PHP operator to print anything. And here, what I will take, let's say site URL. We need to go single quotes here. We need to go inside site controller. And inside this site controller, we will use the same method to upload our file. So first of all, we need to create a route inside this routes.php. Copy, pasting it here. Now the same method we are going to use for the get and the post request. So get method, post method. This is something I will create. It's a my file site controller this is our method name and next we need to copy this route back to file upload now here we are using site url function this is a helper function and simply we need to pass our route name this is all about we have worked over the action next we need to pass all about method so let's say post as we are uploading files so we need to take ink type this is multi-part form data if i go at the top of this menu click on view toggle word wrap so here inside this form tag we have action method and ink type attribute when we select any file click on submit it will go inside this name attribute to this route but that time we have post request type back to site controller and here first of all let's say this request we have let's say get method we need to check that the request type coming or the method equal to post type now after creating this if block which is indicating all about the block for post request type what i will do file equal to let's say this request and keep in mind when we are uploading data via form so at that time we had taken the method as get where but this time we are uploading file so we need to use get file here and inside this 
we need to pass our file ID. So here file ID indicates all about the name attribute. So what I will do, go here, copy this name attribute, passing it here and simply to understand if I print all the values of this file variable, save these changes, go here inside this routes, copy this route name, back to our application and if I type index.php my file now we have a file upload button and here we have a submit button let's select some file from our system so I am clicking on choose file and here multiple images has been listed so what I will do click on mysql-store.png selecting that icon means image click on submit now as we can see that we are getting a upload file object inside this object we have several properties or attributes something like we have a temporary path we have the name we have mime type we have the size and so on all the details of that uploaded file now if suppose if we want to read this name attribute from here so we are not able to read directly all these properties of this upload file object instead we need to use some of the methods defined inside it so for that back to editor go to site controller if suppose we want to read the name attribute from this means object what we have to do if I make comment of these lines first and it's a name equal to file which is containing all about upload file object and inside this we have a get name method now as you can see that by the help of this object which is upload file type means inside this upload file object we have several methods if we want to get the name we need to use get name method if we want to get the temporary path what we are seeing here so to get temporary path we need to use again let's say get name and here we have the method as we can see get temp name here we have the get client name and so on so these are the methods which is helpful to retrieve the values from that object so for name we need to use get name method now if I click on that method as we can see that we are now redirected on this upload file.php this is the file means core file of codeigniter4 which is presented inside this vendor folder codeigniter4 and so on if we want to search this file into our directory structure back to directory go inside this vendor folder next we need to go inside this code igniter 4 framework and inside this framework next we need to go inside this system http files go inside system http files and here as we can see that we have uploaded file.php this is one of the core file from code igniter 4 so any type of modifications or updating these files is generally not recommended. We need to use the available method. So get name method is available. Get client name, get temp name, get extension. If suppose we want to get the MIME type. So here we have the method called get client MIME type which is inside the same file. And this method is useful to get the MIME type from this object what we are seeing here so far we now understood all about this upload file object now next I am going to upload this uploaded file into a directory structure means into a folder if I back to app2 let's say that we are going to upload that uploaded file inside this public folder so what I will do or simply let's create a folder called images now inside this images folder I will upload that file so back to editor go to site controller and we will use the move method 
so image here we have the move method this is a method available to move any file to any location and this is also provided and I think that this is not image actually it's file and inside this move we need to pass the file name as well as where we have to move our file means location inside this move method the first value we need to pass all about the location so we need to pass as we know inside this images folder and by default this move method automatically points towards this public folder so we need to go only this images folder because public is already available to this path next we need to pass the file name so already we have fetched or accessed all about the file name here so simply write name here so what I will do if I write inside this if block let's say echo within h1 tag file has been moved otherwise we'll have a else block copy this message and simply I'm writing let's say failed to move file save this file if we save all these changes and reload this file one more time cancel pressing enter let's choose one file from this file upload button I am uploading let's say mysql event click on submit and file has been moved back to directory structure and as we can see that inside this public folder we have images folder and inside this images folder this is the file what we have uploaded so successfully guys inside this video step by step we had seen that how can we upload our image file inside this application also in the next video we will see that if suppose we have uploaded any type of file like let's say for our actual sheet or pdf file or doc file txt file and so on but after uploading we need to validate only the images file it means we will accept only images file from upload button so how can we do file validation we will see in the next video so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i'll give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day